So I went out the front and picked a little flower. Um, we've got some, I think they're called uh, African daisies, perhaps. Um, they're sort of coming to their end, the end of their life at the moment. Um, so they're sort of falling apart, going a bit dull. So I picked this one and it's a bit corroded, but you can see the little insects are still very busy inside it. Little grains of pollen here and there. This is one of the petals. Normally they're really bright white and a very vivid purple, but now they're sort of a yellowy colour as well and they're starting to wilt. So we're looking deep inside the flower now. We've got a little, one of the little insects. It's a bit darker than the other ones, so maybe they change colour as they get older or something like that. You can see this guy quite busy doing something. He's got some lines running down his back. I'm not sure if they're wings or, or what. Sort of towards the front near his legs. You can see these strange sort of threads. Weird sort of crystalline structures. I wonder what they are. I really love that purple. It's just so vibrant. Oh, he just told that guy to get lost. Off you go, buddy. So they're obviously not like bees or ants or something. They're not communicating between each other happily. If anyone knows what they are, they can let me know, that'd be great. On the same flower, there was another kind of insect, something a bit bigger. But since I'm focusing on such a small area, this is about as far back as I can get. Let's see how long it takes people to figure out what it is. I get a lot of camera shake when I try and pan or zoom or anything. So this is a hoverfly that's died and he's been on this flower for a while maybe and when they're alive they clean themselves quite regularly and he's just like completely covered with pollen now. It's kind of beautiful but weird. part of the legs and you can just see the coating. This guy looks pretty large, but he's not. He's just small. He's a... Uh, I don't know what he is. Some sort of... Um, oh assassin beetle or something of that family perhaps. It's funny when you point a camera even at the smallest of beetles they just see a giant eyeball staring at them and tend to go completely frozen and not move. There's a bit of sap from the plan, the reflection. Sort of reminds me of the prawns from District 9. You can sort of make out the, the structure of the eyeball a little bit and see some of the really tiny little white hairs on its head.
Wow, look at this little guy. He's um he's quite interesting. He's got like a white fuzz on him, sort of reminds me as so he's been coated in powdered sugar or something. It's very small, it's less than a millimetre long. I think we all know what this is, but as I was filming it, it realised pretty quickly what was going on and then just stared straight at me. Wow, that is really strange. It's got like a crease through the middle of its eye. Love it. Another random creature I came across. This one was literally too small for me to tell if it was a real living thing until I started looking at it through the GoPro and it is cute. No idea what it is. That is an awesome little creature though. Look at it. It's like got a soft skin, very little, very busy antennas. Okay, this is a little aphid. This is pretty funny actually. I took a video of an aphid and I think it's doing a poo. Okay, have a look at its back end and it's like really constipated, it's trying to get it out, it's using its little legs, oh my god this is a tough one it's thinking, oh no, have another go buddy, you can do it, yep you got it, get it, no, there we go, beautiful, now he's like, oh shit I got it stuck on my hand, ah, oh, damn it, and then he flicks it, check this out, flicks it, oh, stuck on his little antenna now, good work. And here's another butt shot, but this is pretty interesting. So we get lots of aphids on plants, but they don't really get into anything that's not a weed anyway, and they are some interesting little things. So this is the exoskeleton that they've crawled out of. They glue it their own feet down. And that's just a nice little bit of leaf. This caterpillar was really small. I was lucky to find it. It was tucked in between two leaves and I could see some webs and I was wondering what was in there. Again, they don't really like being watched. I'm not moving or doing anything abrupt, but you'll start to see he gets a bit busy in a, in a minute or two. There we go, I think he's like, yeah, I've had enough of being watched by this big camera now. So now he's creating some more threads to protect himself. So I'm trying to focus on him here. There we go. So he's pulling the little threads from one end to the other. You can see his little, I don't know what you call them, legs on the threads. That's amazing. Backwards and forwards. There we go. I'm all done. Or am I? He also lays down a really complex mesh of, of this web across the the bottom where he walks so maybe it gives him something to hold on to he feels safe on it maybe
he's just going to cocoon himself in. Here we go. Starting to run threads across all the little openings now. Okay, here's another caterpillar. Um, this one was a bit smaller than the last one and it was bright green. And if you look at this, you can see its nervous system moving around inside it. I'm not sure what's going on here. I mean, obviously he's giving himself a bit of a clean, but what's that black thing that sort of bounces around inside him? It looks like something trying to escape, but I think it's probably just his stomach and he's like as he's swallowing the things that he's getting off his little claws he his stomach's moving around inside or something like that So if you look carefully at this, you can see more of those little fibres going throughout his body that just move around. Sort of reminds me of a, a balloon, a balloon animal, 